Inflation figures are up for the second straight month in India. Inflation rate is at 7.41%, that is up by 0.41% since last time when it was 7%. Now, this inflation rate is the highest since April. Let's get in Priyanshi for more details here. Priyanshi, inflation rate continues to remain above the RBI's comfort level, isn't it? Absolutely, Maha. And uh, this is a point of concern because it's the second straight month that inflation has risen. Remember, in the month of August, inflation rose for the first time in three months. Uh, before that, for three months, inflation was going down. But now, for the last two months, inflation is only on the upward trend. If we talk about the figures, the inflation rate is up at 7.41%. And compared to last month, uh, it was at 7%. So it's a 0.41% increase in the inflation rate from August to September. This inflation rate is the highest that we've seen since April. Remember, in the month of April, inflation was around 7.8%. And ever since, inflation was coming down, but it started rising again in August. And now, it's the highest inflation rate that we've seen since April. If we talk about the details of the numbers, one point that's very concerning is that even in inflation, rural India is being hit more than urban India. Rural inflation is above urban inflation for the fourth straight month. That is a concerning trend because before these four months, urban inflation, uh, the cost of living in urban India was more than the cost of living in rural India. But now for the last four months, that trend has been reversed and rural inflation is above urban inflation for the fourth straight month. If we talk about the categories, the highest inflation is in the fuel and light category at 10.4%. That is what we usually see that the highest inflation is in that category and it's currently at 10.4%. But uh, a question is that crude oil prices have been going down for the last four, a few months. Uh, the Brent crude prices have come down from their highs of $120 per barrel, $130 per barrel, and now they're down to $90 per barrel, and they even went down to uh, 80s, and now they're back to $95 per barrel. So there will be a growing call for the government to cut uh, their uh, fuel prices, the excise duty on fuel, to bring down inflation as well. Now, uh, the, the Reserve Bank of India has been acting to control inflation, and the Reserve Bank has announced four consecutive rate hikes to control this very inflation. In fact, interest rates have been hiked by 190 basis points this year, but inflation is not coming down. Despite that, we'll see whether that impact can be seen in the months to come. The Reserve Bank is saying that inflation will remain above 6% this year, and the annual rate of inflation this year will be at 6.7%. In the last uh, announcements made by the Reserve Bank, they retained this forecast and said that the annual rate will be 6.7%. But currently, the point of concern, inflation going up for the second straight month, and it's at 7.41%, the highest that we've seen since April this year.